last to skate of the eight competitors in this dance event here at the Lexus Cup of China. If you just joined us, you are live here in Shanghai to see the reigning world champions and European champions do their Spanish dance. Setting the scene, Luca Lanotti and Anna Capolini of Italy. in the middle of the twizzles. Step sequence, well choreographed. Jane Torvald is watching us here on Eurosport today and she's obviously very familiar with this music. Maybe she thinks of the choreography. A marvellous and powerful performance from Anna Capolini and Luca Lanotti of Italy, as you would expect. And Luca just owning the space in this arena. A masterful piece of acting in my book. And I'm sure Jane told you back in England watching. She sat there with her cup of tea and her biscuits, <laughs> I bet, right now. Hello, Jane, good morning. And as it is afternoon in Shanghai here, the first part of uh, our coverage on Eurosport, which is going to run through all the events. It's always difficult to take a piece of music that's so synonymous with another team, and obviously Jane and Chris using that same piece, different orchestration, when they won the Olympics in 84. Um, but I thought that Anna and Luca did a great job. You can see there's a confidence now following their World Championship win. And as I said, when I was, I was working with them in the summer, or, or working on the same tour as them in the summer, everybody was acknowledging that it was certainly obvious within Luca the difference in his confidence that had given him a greater self-belief. And, and no doubt that's what a world championship win should, should warrant. Well, he's a world champion. Yeah. I, I first saw it more from the ballroom dancing side of things, when somebody takes the floor and they own the floor. And a guy called Mike Stilianos used to 
do that and show me how to do that. You know, you try and do it, but I think he just really is it there, is. isn't he? Look at that facial interpretation. And he was owning the space of the judging panel. Definitely. Not just with his partner out to the audience, he owns the whole space, and that's so impressive. And whilst I thought that from a speed perspective, it, it wasn't the, the, the fastest team across the ice. This team, for me, of all the competitors, transcended the technical stuff. I wasn't. I was watching a performance as opposed to watching a series of elements. Yeah, that, and that is what you want, isn't it? Ideally. Me, me the same. I mean, the, I thought the choreography, the way it all works and flows through, it's seamless. The elements occur as part of the performance rather than as individual set points. So, very good points. Let's see here. 69.88, the highest they've got, 65.2. The, oh, there is an issue there. Oh, my words. Gosh, Paolo Mazzadri, Marina Zueva there going, oh, 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 what has happened there? Well, not look too at far marks. advanced of the French team either. It's, it's second, but it's the third place French team aren't too far behind. So, uh, Maya Shibatani and Alex Shibatani currently in first place a bit of a hush in the arena and a bit of a surprise to say the least the americans then that's the standings after the short dance maya shibatani alex shibatani in first place by three points nearly uh or two and a half anna and lucas second